Oh, we're recording? Yeah, okay, because it uh, made like a weird sound. Yes, I said hello, I'm Darthleon, and welcome to another session of Thirsty Suitors. Uh, yeah, let's just get, just get right into it. I, I kind of wonder like how much longer this game is. It feels like we're probably like halfway, especially with chapter five. I think we read this last time, but let's say it again. Help Thirfan find his lost cat and say goodbye to a coping mechanism that had outlived its use. Is Jala growing as a person? What a perfect moment to backslide your bad habits and all flames. And yeah, we we are still skating as the cat, but all right, it's probably fine. Uh, let's actually go into the diner, make sure that we get our uh, free milkshake if they give it to us. Let me guess. Banana milkshake? You got it. I can always tell. It's like we're telepathically linked or something. And you know, let's do a little bit of warm up. You know, because we're likely going to be fighting an ex like very soon. Alright. Yeah, I'll always pet the dog, alright? Pet the doggo in every game. Pet the doggo in Hades, pet the doggo in uh, Thirsty Shooters. If there's a doggo, you gotta pet it. Alright. So, let's meet up with this guy. I'm pretty sure that was what we were supposed to be doing. Are we... We could be getting like a big combo. Let's... Let's... Okay. Alright. try to get like a really big combo I, I know this isn't like necessary to do anything here but don't, don't crash the people because that actually lowers the combo okay that almost that guy almost got hit uh they don't have like the the bonus points on this one, do they? Let's go, let's try and get into like the middle of this. All right, is this like a, ha a big uh, thing? Oh, hey, Happy, welcome to the stream. We're playing uh, Thirsty Shooters. Say, is, is Tippy there? Is Tippy by you? Can you hear me? Can, can he hear me? Bring, bring Tippy to the phone. He's taking a nap. Ah, that's wake him up. <laughs> I wanna talk to him. Nah, nah, don't wake him up. I wish I could quit this job, but there's this guy on AOL selling the sickest sword, and I just have to have it. AOL. What are you talking about? AOL. Is this? When does this game take place, honestly? Can they put swords in the mail? Surely there are laws against that sort of thing. Alright, uh, well, they do sell those CP. Let's pick up a couple of those. Inflicts temporary thirsty mode on, like, I'm, I'm guessing enemies, right? Alright, let's. I mean, three might be a little too much, but it, it's fine. Uh, I mean, the mango bar. It seems like we're getting. Is. Oh, okay. It's this guy's theme specifically. Why? It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty rocking. Alright, we were invited by this guy. Indeed. By a massive meat mountain of a man. Hindi, come on. Are you sure you're ready to face him? I'm ready. I've been waiting to kick his ass. What? Why? Want to get in the back of my pickup and drive till no one knows our names? I mean, we come from a pretty small town. That's probably like around the corner. What you're saying? We'll have the stars for a blanket and put fresh s'mores on a portable grill. 
That won't work again. I can't believe that line worked on me before. What was I thinking? I mean, you, you were thinking that you were 16 and guy is caught. It was an escape from all the pressure you were feeling? Probably that. Do I have to remind you how running off with Bruno the summer of junior year ended? We just said that we don't want to partake, though. He gave you that smile, promised you the earth, and ditched you three towns over. Dad had to come pick you up. Mom never trusted you the same way again. So, she did trust us before. I'm not expecting everything to be the same, Jala. I've changed. You've changed. Bruno. Oh, I love how the song is saying his name. Hear me out, baby. We could be so sweet together. What? What? This guy's a Power Ranger? Guy is actually a Power Ranger. Okay, Bruno. Zala fell for Bruno's sweet promises and ended up ghosted. Now he's back and buffer than ever. Damn. Holy cow, the music is go going wild. You're back in town to take responsibility? Don't you know where that road leads? To a boring office job being exploited by the man, man. Settling down, applying for a mortgage. Home ownership? In this economy? Yeah, honestly. And it's gonna get worse. Can you really see yourself doing laundry and taxes for the rest of your life? Letting your dreams wither into distant memories? Do you have like another way of doing this? Do you really want to settle for an ordinary life? I've had a bunch of excuses. So let me get this straight. I have to prove my specialness by going along with your latest whim. And if I don't, I'm some kind of square. Good try, bro. Maybe I'm just not that into you. You ever think of that? Uh, if he's awake uh, and he can hear me, let me know because I want to say something, but I will have to like pause the recording. No, you're lying. You still got it, bro. Don't let it get in your head. Why look before you leap? Why keep questioning? What's the me? worst that could happen if you just... I just want, I didn't want this to go into the recording for like obvious reasons. Take a chance on me. Can I tell you a secret, Jala? Every one of the promises I break, I believe them completely when I make them. That, what? What do you mean by that? I want to be the son my parents think I am. I could be him. He's a part of me. Yeah, a part he plays. It's not the same thing. Maybe with you, I could change. Stop being so afraid. What is he, this guy talking about? There's more to me, Jala. I just need someone to give me a reason. No! All of this sounds like a you problem, bro. Should have left it in the recording. I, I don't want... I don't like people's... Uh, my friends' reels, real lives to be on video. If you want a grand transformation, hire a renovator. Or better yet, go to therapy. I'm not interested in fixer-uppers. What? But that line it never fails. I don't understand. It's, it's called emotional maturity, and we've been achieving it for like weeks now. These eh, are Bruno's four days contradictory now. inner selves. They're his shields against true self-reflection. You have to shatter his illusions of himself before you can take him down. Okay. Got it. Time to crack open his candy-coated shell. Also love. No, it's actually it actually has other words. We stay th No, we stay thirsty is like what I said. The game is called Thirsty Shooters. All right, uh, let's see. I mean, I'm gonna guess, like, you guys are kind of thirsty, but, like, are you both thirsty? Let's try hitting you with, like, um, uh, yeah, let's try to make you thirsty. Do you 
remember how we'd stay up all night making out till the sun rose? <laughs> yeah, I figure these guys are going to both be thirsty. Uh, but like their colors also imply that like he might be heartbreakable and he might be uh, angerable. All right. Uh, that being said, I think we also have like a white thirsty move, right? Uh, hit the entire group. It costs a lot, though. Ah, we can probably. All right. Okay, they block it for him. And that honestly dealt like zero damage. Even with the thirst active. No, not another taunt. We're looking to get... Um, do even more damage against opponents who are thirsty. Like, we know that much. The question is... Like, that didn't do a lot of damage. Maybe we should just like... Hits the entire group. No, don't we have like just a thirsty move? Do extreme HP damage. Okay, yep, that works for me. Ah, get that done. And even that is not like a lot of damage. I, I guess. know I wasn't the best boyfriend, but we had an adventure. I know you still remember. Okay, this is officially my least favorite text. What I remember is Jala finding out that Bruno's entire life is built on an elaborate lie. In what way? His parents back home in Malaysia sent him here to get an MBA. Bruno dropped out without telling them. How old is he? His road dripping lifestyle? Paid for by the tuition checks he's been cashing. For one knife's edge, heart pounding, dizzying moment, we were free, jelly beans. And right now, you look like you're caught in a trap. I could be your way out. No, what? Fuck you! You're officially the worst. I don't want I'm a way out. I'm trying to be a better person. Face up to my mistakes. Live with the consequences. Like the previous people, I could understand, right? Like, um, some of them really just wanted to take their frustrations or like even get another shot. But this guy is honestly like the worst. You always were such a martyr. Can't you see you're just chaining yourself to the past? Is he the, is he actually the one actual bad boyfriend that deserved this? Not all of us find it easy to live with hurting people. Oh, yeah. Hurting yourself is way healthier. At least my way is fun. He's actually the bad one. Let me paint a picture for you. A beautiful collage of future memories. So close, all you have to do is reach out and touch. The Santa Ana wind in your hair. The California coast turning gold in the sunset. The radio's playing our favorite song, and it's like we can be young forever. You and me against the universe. Yeah, he's the actually bad one. All right, understandable. Uh, I think we can hit him with one more of these, and then we will need to, like, actually uh, farm up some mana, but that's going to be a problem for another moment. Okay. All right, I'm those things you away like you secretly wanted. I don't. That's called kidnapping, Bruno. I mean, it's not if you go alone. All right, uh, we could have got another turn of this, but it's fine. And they pass for it. I will take it then. We let's go for the. Oh come on! I just needed like a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. All right, pretty clean. And I also appreciate that, yeah. Okay, I mean, the fight isn't going badly. Let's go for some basic damage on... Uh, let's go for, for some basic damage on... No, because I want to make you angry or thirsty for me later. So let's uh, pull up our mana. Here. You look so stressed out, Jala. I give the best massages. Just saying. <laughs> Do people even like massages? 
<laughs> Alright, I appreciate the critical. Uh, no, let's keep throwing normal attacks on Candyman to like get him down. And like, we will use the mana on Jellyman. Alright, that should be a one. Why more stay move. where you're clearly not wanted? We could just get in my truck and go. Because we're trying to better ourselves, my guy. All right, nice. I and can't clean. believe it. I'm the first of the bros to bite it. No offense, but I always thought it'd be jelly. Okay. What? Hush, bro. Don't talk. Conserve your strength. <laughs> you could have been free, Jala. How could you do this to me, babe? Why is this guy actually worse than the main guy? It's going dark, bros. So dark. So cold. Don't forget me. I was the best of us. <laughs> Where are you? Alright. The music is going so wild, by the way. This is my... I mean, it's not as good as the first two, but I feel like it's up there. And I love how self-centered it is as well. Absolutely love it. Uh, so they... I know this isn't like... Uh, Alright, let's take... Let's take the global like by f down by 5. And increase music by 5. Yeah, there we go. That should make the song a little more hearable. Okay. Well... Last guy was also thirsty for us, so let's go for one of those. Stop giving me those eyes! You're the one who can't stop staring at my abs. What? No clues? I'm not staring at your abs. I'm staring at your biceps. Oh, okay. All right, he wants to be shocked. Understandable. Life's too short to linger on the bad stuff, Jala. Oh, that just... just that? Um... Yeah, we know you wanna get soaked, so let's just go for it. What kind the of do you usually bro? go for? Unfortunate. Cause you need to work on your game. Use the married ones. I wanna learn about commitment. Dude, less honesty, please. Okay, I mean, something definitely happened there. Let's just go for the extreme damage on him. Do extreme HP damage. I don't think I've ever done the soaking extreme, but... Okay, that was simple. I I've appreciate got a truck, honesty. a job, a mean set of skills in the kitchen. What more do you want? Emotional empathy? Consistency? Wait. He really just shook off the sock like instantly. You make me want to prove I can be a better person. You're the only one who makes me want to try. What? Really? Go on an adventure with me, Jala. Let's pretend nothing else exists, at least for a little while. Girl? Okay, is there a way to like get rid of that? You got impressed for like five rounds. Uh prepared exceptionally. Uh no, just go for the basic one. Get rid of the impress. Okay, so it just shortened it by a bit, but I that's fine by me. Uh is there like a thing I cannot do to him? Yeah, probably. Uh let's just go for the normal attack. Oh, okay, it randomizes the chance. Okay, that allows us to, like, have enough mana for next turn. Oh, wow. Everyone in this town wants something from you, apart from me. I just want to set you free. I learned my lesson about free rides with you. Okay. Uh, that did not go as planned, so I think we're going to, like, eat one of those sweets. Yeah, let's go with the sweets, like, that are less good. And we will just, like, chill. Oh, we get a bonus turn out of this? 
Oh yeah, we got the the thing from Infant, didn't we? That's right. Okay, that simplifies things by a little. Um, I'm a little worried about making another dot, but. You pretend you're Bruno's voice of reason, but I think you like that he doesn't listen to you. Okay, he wants to be heartbroken. Understandable. Is there a reason why they made this guy so easy? You think offering me glimpses of hidden depths is enough to tempt me? <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's any need to like go overboard with damage on him. Yep, nice clear. What, my guy? Brother? Whoa. Brother? Ew, I would like to unsee that, please. Why are you breaking my heart into pieces, Jala? All I want is to be sweet to you. Fuck I off. I've never had much of a sweet tooth. All the sugar gives me a toothache. My hench bros sacrifice themselves for me, for us, so you can see how far I'm willing to go for you. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, you sounded pretty heartbroken, so... Oh, you know what? We don't have enough mana for what I wanna do. Why are you half health? I made a lot of mistakes, okay? My family put so much pressure on me. Yeah, bull. You gotta prove you're better than all your cousins, my dad said. You have to justify my marriage to your mother. <clears throat> Being around you made me realize what a charade my life was. Maybe part of me wanted to mess up your perfect image to your parents. Prove to myself you were just like me. Dude! I was so ready to get lost with you. To go with the flow, abandon all my parents' plans for me, cut free from the complications. But you ditched me in a strange town and ghosted me for months. Weeks, at most. Weeks could be months! You made her cry, dude. You sabotaged that dream, Bruno. You're the one who turned something real into a charade. Then let's make it real again. Those days and nights we spent together on the open road, we came so close to being real, didn't we, Jala? Okay, that, that's kind of break me down, Jala. I'm more than just a sum of my parts. You're just a boy playing with his toys. All right, now we can definitely car break his ass. You're not even really sorry about how you treated me, are you? You're just saying what you need to say to get what you want. She wants to be soft? That's surprising. Uh. Okay, Remember we might the Oregon need to call coast, Tillamook Creamery? That night on the beach? You said you'd write, call, stay in contact, all those things. But here we are. I'll make up for it. Promise. Just give me a chance, Jala. Alright, uh, let's actually call on our aunt. And we will resume this situation right after it. Auntie! Oh, wow. I kind of screwed it up, but it's fine. My aunt loves me regardless. I bet your dad hugs you and tells you he's proud of you, even when he isn't. Uh, yeah, he does. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Okay, my guy, let's get this over with. I don't want to fix you, Bruno. I already have a home improvement project, and it's me. Thank you very much. <gasps> Just one round of it? That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Okay, let's do one huge damage on your ass. Yeah, remember, that's a pretty easy one. Wait. We're not making it up. 
Why are you trying to take responsibility for everyone else's feelings? What's so wrong with doing what you want? You've lost yourself in this old town, Jala. This isn't where you belong. That's not up to you, is it? All right. Um. Let someone save HP damage. Find out the weakness. No, forget about that. Let someone sound it. The spirit of Timber Hill. Alright, and Mum will sing the rest of this. This is the spring of our lives, Jala. Let's just enjoy it. Alright. Mom! I'm, I'm sure she will have some choice words for this one. Wait, really? Just Why like does this always happen to me? Not even like mild disappointment, but whatever. I wanted you to run away with me again, because going back to the past is safer than facing the future. I've been running in circles a long time. Trying to pretend this game will last forever. But I guess you can't outrun the future. Even the past can sneak up on you if you're not careful. Wow, that's a like deep man. So what happens now for you and me? How about we try being friends, instead of solutions to each other's problems? Why not? I'll try anything once. I'll be in touch, Jelly Beans. Bohemian started being like the highest one and we did break this guy's heart quite a lot so I guess this also kept up so I guess wait did we not spend it did, did we not spend it Real quick because this is important. All right, uh, should we check for like missions that perhaps are available for us? Let's definitely try to like heal up just in case we get into a random encounter. What? Uh, what? What was he doing there? What was this guy doing? This, this Bacale really isn't helpful for skating. Okay, I think that we should like find a place to chill. This thing here. And let's look if we have any missions for people. Uh, Irfan is unavailable. Bruno is unavailable. Tyler doesn't want any favors. Alright. Yeah, pretty much all those people seem pretty clear. So I guess we just like go towards the house and try to like... Uh, I guess we say goodnight to dad and, like, move on to the next day. And I think, like, we did sort of, uh, get some news from our sister, like, today, which is, like, starting to be the most important thing to me. Wait, is someone missing? 
Uh, guys, we're missing one. Where's Bruno? He left town. Alone. How do you know this information? <laughs> so much for Bruno's master plan. No, seriously. I'm mildly concerned that Sergio is stalking all of us. He really just left town? Without even saying goodbye to us? I'm just taking a healthy interest in my rivals. It's just good sense. Leaving town is kind of what he does. I'm not the only one hearing this, am I? Hello? <sighs> uh, isn't oh, the Sergio's one? been a creep since grade school. What's new? What's new is that I'm in the blast radius of his creepiness. Also, I'm not a rival. I barely even count as an ex. In what way? <laughs> you and Sergio have that in common. Wow. Wow. Et tu, Tyler? I caught you practicing clever lines to devastate Jala in the mirror yesterday. Uh, are they brother and sister? Friendship code violation. Okay. Uh, 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 friends don't let friends lie to themselves, babe. Enjoy your little confrontation, Andale. Don't come crying to me when it all goes up in flames. So mean. Like, this is such a meme. All right. I'm hungry. A Catherine. Okay. Uh, I guess it's sort of a Catherine Rolling Stone. I heard you had a run-in with that boy Bruno today. How did you hear that? And you're still here, and not three towns over. That's a win. That's mob no? On a scale of dormant volcano to full-on Chernobyl. How freaked out is mom? Closer to a natural disaster than a nuclear meltdown. I'd still wait till the first responders clear the area. <laughs> I love how that is also honest about that. Are you first responders in this scenario? Nope. Half a bottle of Chardonnay and a tube of cookie dough. Works at least half the time. Can I just cuddle up here with you tonight? Of course, Jalla Banana. I'll put something on you can fall asleep to. So, like, basically everything you like to watch? Oof, ouch, a direct hit straight to the heart. <laughs> He's such a cool dude. Kidding, kidding. I feel like handling it well might be the thing that also pushes uh, mom into like trusting us territory. Chapter 6. You're still a mess of contradictions. Jala managed to resist Bruno's sweet temptations. A victory for the home team. On the downside, those good damn skate punks tattle on Jala on TC. Uncool. Well, new recipe at home. What? You're, little, you're the literal worst. I never wanna hear from you again. Lose my digits. Wow, rude. And unexpected. Sorry. Sorry. I to lose the phone out of Isis' hands. She's such a prankster, haha. This is infant, by the way. For real this time. Sorry again. She's still pretty upset with you. Would you mind talking to her? What? Please, for me? Hmm. Well, I guess we don't really have a choice, but. You know, talking about Aruni's wedding made me realize I've never heard how you two met. Oh, well, it's an uneventful story. In what way? Parents only say that when there's something incriminating. Keep digging. Daddy? Ah, how <laughs> does anyone meet? We were young, having fun. Daddy, I want the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ah, well... We met at a demonstration during the time of the emergency. The emergency? There was suppression of strikers and the press, so I had traveled with some friends of mine to protest. And while I was there, what do I see? If not this fiery, tiny, beautiful woman. I think you're smaller than here. Just kicking the officer that had just lucky charged me so hard in the shin that he goes down. I knew she was the one instantly. Ah, uh, nah, this here. We don't get we don't get many chances for this. Amma, 
Attacking an agent of the law? Your father is being dramatic. I was just expressing my rights as a citizen. Vociferously. Hey, that's me. I knew an interesting word. Enough, Irvind. She doesn't need any more encouragement for her antics. Seems like we found the source to your genetic problems. <laughs> I don't think there's genetic problems. It's like, everyone has wild demons years or like whatever. Alright. New recipe. Really? Difficulty of two? Okay, I start some HP instantly and over time. Perfect bonus. Let me decrease the damage taken. That's pretty interesting. And oh, they do the same thing. All right. Um, rice vegetables. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's hang out with that for a recipe. Ah, this is one that Ahmed taught me, Makhlouve. It's actually a funny story. Aruni wanted to bring him to dinner, and so we invited him over. But he insisted that he cook for us the first time we meet. That's presumptuous. He cooked here? Amma let a strange man cook in our kitchen? Mom once won a two-hour maid service in the PTA raffle, and then spent the three days beforehand bleaching everything. What? Ahmed was convinced this was the best way to introduce himself, so Aruni insisted. I can see it clearly made the intended impact on you. If Ahmed was looking to impress, he was very successful. It was a showstopper. And now he comes over to cook for us once a month. I'm his sous chef. He's delightful. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know. I mean... Oh, Pardidua. I know it's tough, but listen. I got to know Ahmed through this dish, so maybe you will too, hmm? Your fingernails are looking a little dirty. They are not. No shame in a little honest dirt, Jala. Just go wash up. All right. Uh, let's just clean up. Right, and shut off. Fine. Perfect. Let's get started. It's nice to build up the heat. You know, the first time we met, Ahmed walked in behind a Rooney. A bouquet in one hand, and a bag of ingredients in the other. Oh, so he actually wanted to, like, grab a date. Considering how quickly he and Aruni got serious, your Amma and I had very different impressions of how he'd be. Oh! Oh, okay! Aruni is like the fiancé. Okay. What's that first impression? Ah, uh, one of those weird, intense, obsessive types. Poor Aruni. Careful, your bloodthirst is showing. On the contrary, Ahmed welcomed us to watch him cook. Insisted we sit down though. No working for us, but it was like a cooking show where we were the audience. Very entertaining. He even tossed pieces of cauliflower to us. I caught one in my mouth. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Maybe Ahmed and Sergio can fight to the death to decide who gets to be dad's son he never had. I've already rinsed the rice. Go put it in some water to soak. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just mix with her hands. Alright, Have nice you considered clean. becoming a chef, Jalu? What's next? I summon fire. Would you light the stove, please, Podidua? <laughs> uh, he's also kind of a nerd. Okay. Oh, of nine Jala, means... Because that was magic. Wait, did we not get the full pepper on this? Oh, that's unfortunate. Her would say so. Now we can build our base of flavor by searing our lamb shoulder. It's my personal favorite part of the lamb. Meaty, fatty goodness. Okay, so about his family? You said this was Ahmed's family recipe? Yes, he learned it from his grandmother in Palestine, Teta Miriam. He hasn't seen her in some years, though. Why not? Because she's here and she's in... Palestine? Ah, it's complicated. There are many laws that make it difficult for Palestinians to visit their home. Free Palestine, by the way. But that's why there's so much joy in food. We commiserate, we remember, and we share with each other. That's why this recipe was really a clever choice. 
Sharing this recipe made us feel like family immediately. Funny how you're always missing from these fun family bonding stories. It's almost like Ahmed is more family than you. Oh, come on. I mean, that's certainly one way. To Maybe I should like be the one that. taking cooking lessons from you. You want to know anything else about Ahmed? I have no secrets. I'm an open book. Uh, what's your opinion about the wet? You really have no doubts at all. You trust irony with him? Do you trust him with her? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe your viciousness is a predetermined genetic drive. Maybe he's doomed. I trust Aruni, so I must believe in her trust in him. I equally believe that if he turned out to be trouble, she'd reach out to us. Or like murder him. Like you did, Jala. Like you're doing now. It's hard to ignore you when you're being sensible. You never had issues in the past. Okay, so we could just like spam this down spam like super things down for like a while uh but like yeah let's power i'm not sure what the right strategy for those is I'm perfectly Your honest. technique it's like you channeled the spirit of my aunt ravima herself all right okay and nice spice you're doing so well and surely oh. like Oh, I'm getting emotional. Why are we not getting a full pepper? I promise those? not to cry. It's looking good. Just needs a stir now and then until all nice and brothy. As do we all in life. Eh, hey, Padidua. Was that what you were going to say, Dad? That was pretty close, yes. <laughs> Predictable. All right. Whoa, slam dunk. Jala the Giant does it again. Jala the Giant? Now, how about cool. you give your best try on this vegetable fry? Dad, if you continue these attempts at wordplay... You will get a friendly daughter kiss? I might accidentally faceplant into this hot oil. Your jokes are a safety hazard. It was a good joke. I mean, 7 out of 10. I will repeat like my fear of here touching the fry from below. Alright, we we got like Oh wow! Your technique is absolutely mesmerizing. That was that in the end was a little stretch. Where's the handheld camcorder? I should be recording this. You know, Ahmed started taking Aruni to Debke classes. Debke? At first it was just for the wedding, but she's really enjoying it. He brings out another side to Aruni. She laughs more. It's good to see as a parent. Do you think Ahmed will like me? I'm worried that Ahmed may have a preconceived bias against me based on the current circumstances. Are you worried his judgment will be biased or accurate? Accurate. I'm sure it'll all work out. Why? How? That's an infuriating answer, Dad. I understand the skepticism, though, yeah. You've redefined the meaning of impressive with this. I literally just shook a salt pepper. With this dish, you'll only find out if you succeeded after you've layered all the ingredients and flipped them after cooking. Ahmed said this is where the name comes from. Maklube means upside down. Isn't that fun? Uh, yeah, I guess. He was so nervous that first time, poor boy. So, how did it go? Did it come out okay? You are such a wannabe goody-goody. I know deep down you think someone else winning means you losing. Uh, no! He layered it carefully. He set it to sit on the stove to cook together. And when it was finished, he came in with the pot, flipped it to reveal mush. His eyes <laughs> over. I thought he was going to pass out after building up so much anticipation for us. But then he says, this will be the most delicious mush you'll ever taste. And he was right. Ah, oh, poor guy. And completely normal staining technique, once again. Uh, me 
missed I one, but one word. everything is fine. Splendiferous. No moose for us. So we actually got better than he did on the first try. Ah, Jala. The rice isn't soggy, the vegetables are crisp, the meat is so tender. I'm going to stop talking because it's cutting into the eating time. <laughs> yes! In your face, Ahmed! Okay. And we also get two helpings of the good stuff, right? Did we get... Okay, we didn't get the hilt. It's okay, I was worried for a second there. Alright. Let's see what mom's opinion on that is. Ooh, there's rice soaking. What about it? We're having biryani for dinner. Lamb or chicken? Look closer. It's parboiled rice, not basmati. We're going to make... Uttapam. They are thicker than dosas and topped with onions and green chilies. Oh no, not onion. <laughs> no. I instantly hate it. I might as well teach you the method while you're here. Start by washing your hands. A very important uh, first step, as always. Okay, a little worrisome there, but... Very good. Okay, I, I did sideways. I know the how first to wash my hands, but... first step is to grind the rice and then grind the urad dal. Every house has its own proportion, and you just have to get a feel for the consistency of the batter. Okay, so what is your purpose? So, is this Bati's secret ratio that she handed down to you or Dad's family's? It's dosa batter and I'm familiar. Of course it's my mother's. Don't tell your dad I said that. <laughs> Save it for when you really need to get out of something. Less chit chat, more grinding. All right. Um, I'm gonna do a normal blend and see like how this goes. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I'm horrible at this. Better than last time we cooked together. Tyler always loved my uttapams. Do you still, still talk? Does she not come over anymore? No, she does. I've talked to her a lot more than I've talked to you these last three years. Unfortunately. Just because you broke up doesn't mean I can forget. She's like a daughter to me. Amma. Ah, oh, forget it. Mix the rice batter and the dal batter together till they combine and set it aside to ferment overnight. Overnight? I have some leftover idli batter you can practice on. Overnight? <laughs> Alright, um... Well done, Jala. Touchdown! That's what they say in basketball, no? Yes. I suppose I should be glad that Tyler does still come over despite everything. But... What? It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm saying anything. What is it? I... No, it's nothing. Say it. When Amma says it's nothing, it's definitely something. Yeah, when when they do that, it's like a lot of something. Time to chop up the onions, coriander, and green chilies. Let's keep it simple today. I'm suddenly quite tired. I, I don't want to get it simple. That sari really suits you, Ma. Beautiful color. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, last time it went well, but... Generally, this one doesn't approve of me. The lady at the shop told me I'm an autumn. Whatever that means. What? Huh? Did something happen there? Alright, uh, let's just show it normally. I think it was like a new outcome, right? I right. really am an incredible teacher. It's Tyler's mother. Do you know, she hasn't spoken to me since you left home. But you and Auntie Anissa and Auntie C used to hang out all the time. She made you laugh. Like, out loud. It's true. We didn't even know Amma could make sounds like that. It was 30% sweet and 70% terrifying. Which is kind of the entire brown auntie vibe. 
I have a okay. Jala. How can I blame her? If Tyler had been the one to break your heart, you think I wouldn't do the same thing? I knew I'd messed up my relationships. But I didn't even think about how it would affect yours. Impressive blast radius, Jala. I didn't know, Ma. We've barely spoken in years. How would you know? <sighs> anyway. I love Let's how... Let's not just stand around. Like, it's the first time she hasn't, like, fl blamed this on us. Like, it's definitely our fault, but it doesn't... She didn't point fingers Mix all the one. chopped up ingredients into a bowl and add a pinch of salt. All right. Uh, just... I think at this point we kind of need to go for this. We cannot call the ancestors on this one. We kind of have to go do this very well. Very good. And hope that it is good enough. What else do you expect? Add some oil to the pan and light the stove. Got it, Amma. The first prize in the Avoidance Olympics. And it's a tie between Jala and Rukmini Jayaratna. Congratulations to the mother-daughter duo once again. Come on, it's lighting a stove, Jala, not solving quadratic equations in your head. Move it. Uh, you do not know what's going on in my head. I knew you had my cooking genes. If you really want to do something useful, you could hurry up and have it out with your sister. You two are really giving me so much stress. Why can't you talk to each other? Uh, I guess that's the truth. I'm looking for her everywhere, Ma. She's the one who's avoiding me. Not unfairly, but... I think you're letting her avoid you because you have no idea what to say to her. I didn't raise my daughter to be a coward, Jala. As your mother... What can I say? I'm disappointed. The reigning guilt trip champion of Timber Hill shoots and she scores. Also, yeah, I think this is the first time she actually calls us out. Did something. you sound a little less excited about my emotional damage? But it's so fun to watch. You know, when it's not happening to me. You're part of us. I'll just add some water to the batter then, shall I? Yes, Jala, you know best. Mm, that actually sounded quite scathing as well. They really surprised me with that quick one. Even Party would approve. What am I saying? Maybe I should lie down. The pan's hot. All right. Let's fry the uttapams. Pour Let's. a ladle full of batter into the center of the pan and add the toppings after a minute or two. Once the base is nice and brown, flip it without breaking it apart. Like a pizza. Ah, like those Italian chefs tossing pizza dough. No, like a Tamil woman flipping an uttapam. It's quite simple. Just don't fling it to the ceiling or drop it on the floor. Ah, uh, no promises. Think you can manage that? Uh-huh. Uh, let's give it a go. Uh, it's weird that she's not super confident about it, but... Alright. I hope this is, like, good enough. Good. To... But don't get All right, thank, thank the Lord. Honestly, if I didn't know that this thing has onions on it, I would consider it tasty. But looking at least. I don't... I hate onions. One Uttabam coming in hot. Your ancestors won't have to hide their faces in shame. So it's good. Don't get overconfident. You've managed it this time, but can you turn it out perfectly every time? Ha! So it's really good. I knew it. Ah, fine. It's good. Happy now? Yes. It honestly cooking for other people and to enjoy is like half the fun. 